subject of this speech is a topic which may not exist at all. I, in my stories and novels, often write about counterfeit worlds. I may be talking about something that does not exist. Therefore, I'm free to say everything or nothing. You are wrong about entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurs are dickheads. Let me explain exactly what I mean by dickheads. Philip K. Dick was a sci-fi writer, and science fiction is the mindset that all entrepreneurs, whether they know it or not, should be using. In his stories, Dick made his characters undergo an experience he called a reality breakdown. If you've seen WandaVision, this is basically what Vision realizes. Something isn't quite right. Something's off. Neo feels this too in The Matrix. It's the insight that whatever simulation we live in right now, this ain't it. The reality breakdowns that are found in Dick's writings and other science fiction stories aren't individual experiences, and they can't be brushed off as someone else's problem. In science fiction, the breakdown is attributed to some external and collective force. The reality breakdown that is depicted so many times in Dick's writings is not merely a confusing hallucination. It reveals basic truths about how things could be other than they are. Dick stages this reality breakdown so that the reader can apply these learnings from the story to their own simulation and reality. Every startup is a conspiracy to take over the world, for better or worse. Every entrepreneur worth their salt and pepper found a potential glitch in the world and set out to correct it, or in the case of today's Web3 movement, to build something else entirely that corrects the fallen world we live in. Dick's many reality breakdowns are depictions of human existence in a technological age. They are metaphors for our own experience. You are wrong about Dick because you don't see the entrepreneurial mindset. And you're wrong about entrepreneurship because you don't get Dick. Every entrepreneur should have this sci-fi mindset if she wants to create something new, innovative, and different. Every startup is an exercise in science fiction experimentation. Without science fiction, the future doesn't exist. Science fiction is a tool by which we can step outside of the now and imagine how reality could be otherwise than it is. I call this achieving root on reality. Like Dick, entrepreneurs are trying to get root on their world. When we are able to achieve root, we see reality's potentials, and we can push beyond the brick wall of what is and look into the open gardens of what we can and we will create. So the role of entrepreneurs, like the sci-fi writer, is to imagine new, better worlds by recognizing the gaps and the glitches in our present reality. By placing the onus on social constructs rather than on the individual, sci-fi writers and entrepreneurs can decipher and diagnose our current ills and pave a path to a better world. So don't be wrong about Dick. Read him, get root on reality, and go found a company. Synchronizing. Synchronizing. We might dream of people and places we had never seen as vividly as if we had seen them and owned them. The total body of memory, intact and entire, began to return. Synchronizing.